Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, root.com. Um, there is root method finally for AT&T or Verizon Note 3 users uh, with Android 4.4.2. Um, before we begin, um, make sure you go to settings and go to about phone and make sure you have Android 4.4.2 under Android version. Uh, if you that, have that, you're ready to go. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is go to the browser and go ahead and type towelroot.com all right go ahead and hit the lambda sign here and this will download a file there we go tr.apk go ahead and click on the file go ahead and click on settings hit unknown sources hit ok hit install hit accept uh, hit the I understand this app might be dangerous hit install you can go ahead and ignore the warning um, go ahead and open the file all right and hit on the make it rain um, and this will give you uh, root this will give you root binaries um, after this you'll have to actually install the latest version of super su apk file which I'll show you how to do also um, that will give you uh, full root on your Galaxy Note 3. Uh, this also works on any version, any model of Galaxy Note 3. Um, so you can actually do it uh, if you don't have AT&T Verizon. Uh, but I know some of you, you know, haven't been able to root. Um, so this is uh, specifically for the AT&T Verizon Note 3. For other users, you can go ahead and use CWM Torp Recovery. But uh, this method does not trip NOx. So if you don't want to trip NOx, you just need root. Um, you can go ahead and use this method on any Note 3. I'll give it 15 seconds and if it doesn't work, uh, what I figured out is if you press it again, go ahead and press it again, and uh, it will work after that. And after pressing that, try going, pressing the home button and go back to it. Uh, give it a little bit longer here. And I may have to fast forward this, it may take a while. All right, hit the home button again. Uh, let's go back to it. Give it a couple more seconds here. All right, I'll fast forward all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and try to make it rain again. Ah, come on. All right, um, if you see this, go ahead and hit close it. Do you want to close it OK? And this should reboot. If it reboots, then it means it works. There we go. It rebooted. I'll be back when this reboots completely. All right, next, once your phone has rebooted, go to your browser and go ahead and copy and paste the link to the super user APK file. Uh, and go ahead and answer the CAPTCHA or the question. Um, I'm not sure which one. You fuel efficient. Maybe it's Ford Escape. All right, I got it right. Um, there we go. And that should have downloaded the file. Uh, there we go, super user APK. Now if you try to click on it, it might say, cannot open file, just use uh, My Files app. Uh, where is it? There we go. Open up My Files, go to your download folder, go to all download folder. Um, go ahead and click on superuser.apk. Again, go to settings. And again, hit unknown sources, hit OK and hit install and open all right if it asks you binary needs to be continue uh, updated hit continue hit normal all righty and installation success now you may get additional message um, asking you to disable remove Nox. make sure you do that hit ok I don't get it because it's the second time doing it because uh, I was testing it earlier uh, if you don't do that, you'll get errors with root. Um, Nox, you don't need it. It's completely unnecessary um, crapware that Samsung puts on. So just remove it if it asks you. And that's about it. And you can go ahead and download. Uh, let me go ahead and cancel all these updates real quick. Uh, la, 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 la. Here we go. Let's go ahead and download. Ah, I'm going to have to cancel these because it's going to interfere with me downloading a rooted app. There we go. I'm going to go download Titanium Backup app, uh, which is a free root app there. Go ahead and install. 
and uh, if you install this and open you should get super user requests window if you see that you're all good to go and boom chakalaka you got super user requests full root on your galaxy note 3 whether you have AT&T Verizon also works on all other models of uh, galaxy note 3 um, with Android 4.4.2 now the next steps, AT&T or Verizon Note 3 user, you can go ahead and install the latest version of KitKat SafeStrap, which I also have on my site on step-by-step -step tutorial guide. Go follow that and now you'll be able to install custom ROMs. And I do suggest installing that right away. That will uh, sort of protect you from OTA updates. Um, yeah, just make sure you have a rooted phone and do not take OTA updates in the future. I always have the updates that you can install using Clockmire Recovery or, or SafeStrap on my site so you can go ahead and update using those instead of updating using OTA uh, over there so that's about it anyway go ahead and enjoy your route guys and this is a great week and don't forget to donate to the guys who made this uh, which is XA user geohot go to towelroot.com there's a donate link uh, if you appreciate his efforts which is awesome uh, he figured this exploit out so really cool stuff uh, kudos again to XA user Geo Hot for bringing this to us. And uh, that's about it. And as always, if you have a Galaxy Note 3, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. And I will see you guys soon. I stay high on Android.